Today I'm going to be showing you books from my art book collection. It's a small collection right now, but it is ongoing. And I'm going to be giving you a quick look and showing you um, the books I'll be talking about. And later on in the video I'm going to give you a further explanation as to why I like them. So I have The Art of Tangled. I have Brave. The Crudes. And of course, me being a big Harry Potter fan, I have Harry Potter the Creature Vault. Lovely Ladies of Animation. And a Chris Sanders sketchbook. So yeah, these are the books I'm going to be talking about, so let's get started. Hey guys, so the first book I'm going to talk about is The Art of Tangled. And I marked all the pages just so I can... Um, quickly go through the pages I want to highlight. I'm not going to go through the whole book because that would take way too long and I don't want to spoil anything for you. But this is actually one of my favorite concept art books. And it's heavily detailed. I love this book so much. It's one of my favorite art books actually. It's so nice. I mean look at this. You've got so many different concept art and sketches and, and colored pieces of the tower and it's so nice. Like there's so much detail. You can see inside the castle and all the little, um, all the little details to it. And it's just nice. It has a lot of nice touches to the design. And I really love how, um, there are beautiful illustrations of inside Rapunzel's room. I love this one. This is my favorite out of the pictures of her room because it has the moon and the star hanging from her ceiling. I wish they'd put that in the movie because to me that's a really cute design. Um, I really love all the environment detail. I mean, there's so much atmosphere atmospheric perspective. You've got dark in the foreground, and then it gets lighter as it goes towards the background, and it's just so nice. It's very inspirational. When I need more inspiration, when I'm not sure what to draw, I love going back to these books because it helps a lot. What I really love is how they included photographs that inspired their designs. That's really nice because usually um, there are a lot of concept art books that don't really have this. And so this is one of the few that I have. Or I think this might be the only art book that I have that actually shows the fo photographs that, you know, um, that um, helped the artist get inspired for the designs for the movie. I really love how even in the text it has designs... And art, it's just like this book is jam packed with art. Um, inside the tower, it's just really fun, it's just very colorful. I love the artist's work. I really love Glenn Kane's work. I think that's how you pronounce his name Glenn Kane, Glenn Kane, I'm not sure. But, um, he draws Rapunzel so, um, his designs for Rapunzel are adorable. Like, especially the ones when she's really, really little. Like, I love it. Her sketches are so energetic. I really like this digital drawing by Victoria Ying. It's really cute. And, um, like, yeah, there's, like, so much flow in Glenn's work, and it's fabulous. I really love these pages because it really gets in a lot of detail in how Rapunzel's design. And, um... It's, it, like, all these facial expression charts. I love facial expression charts. And it even talks about her hair in greater detail. I love the way Glenn King draws hair. It's just really flowy and fun. So for Brave, I ended up marking a ton of pages just because I think this might actually be my favorite book. There's so many cool things to look at. I mean, this is the um, title page, and it's just so nice, like, the colors and the composition and how, like, the characters are in focus and the background is blurred. That's lovely. And, um, there's tons of stuff. There's storyboards and color scripts, and I love the pencil work. This is done in pencil, and I think this is by, yep, Steve Pilcher. Yeah, that's how you say his name. And, um, like, just... Look at the detail. I think this is graphite, but there's um, so many sketches by him in this book, and I think he he's my new favorite, or one of my new favorite artists. Scotland is 
a beautiful place and just seeing all these environment designs is so cool like I bet the artists had so much fun like all the hills and the castles and it's and um, I'm sure this was a joy to work on. I'm sure the Scotland trip they took for the movie was fun too. I saw it in the behind the scenes on the um, DVD. Uh, this is another one by Steve Pilcher. And I can't believe this is pencil. Like, I cannot do this. Hopefully one day I can. But this is just so nice. Like, all the hatch marks. And, um... And the trees, and like the contrast, like the trees so white, and then you have the grass. And, um, she looks so scary. But yeah, this is um, a really cool drawing. More drawings of inside the witch's hut. Um, really love the potion design, the potion bottle designs. Potion bottles are so cool, like I love designing them. The character lineups are nice. Like, I love how t tiny they are compared to the dad. Like, they're so itty-bitty. More sketches of Merida. Love the pencil work. Another Stephen Pilcher illustration. Oh, this one is too. I really like this one by Steve, Steve Purcell. This is a cool design, and she's so cute. Love the way um, the bears are drawn. They look so fun to draw. Like, they're just very curvy and cool. This is one of my favorite pages. The twins are adorable. Um, what I love is, I love the, char the, um, the character turnaround. But what I really, really like is the fact that they paid attention to the skeletal design for um, for the triplets when they're turned into bears. Like, he's so cute. Like, the big head and the little body. It's so precious. And it's just really cool to see um, they made a skeletal design for this. So the cruise wasn't one of my favorites, but I really did love the movie. That had really nice artwork, and one of my favorite artists, Chris Sanders, worked on the movie, and I love his character designs. Um, love the colors in this book. The concept art is um, very colorful, and there's a lot of detail. Like the environments and the character designs, or the creature designs, were my favorite part of this book. Um, I love the fl floating islands, and, um, the characters are, the characters are unique. Like, the designs are very interesting. I didn't really like the way the humans were drawn, but I really enjoyed the creatures. Like, I love how long his arms are, and how just noodly his arms look. And this page is cool, because it goes, like, over a bunch of different creatures that you see in the movie. And then it folds out. And so you see, like, the different characters. And, and um, there's so many facial variety. Like, there's different um, face shapes and body shapes, which is nice to see in a movie. And the different environments, like, the different... Uh, in environments they go through. Like, I love how massive the corn is compared to the characters. And the lighting's nice. It's cool to see all the different rock shapes that went into the environments. And all the detail. I'm sure these environments took forever to work on. Lots of beautiful color. And um, a lot of des nice design went into making this movie, like all the plants and everything. And this folds out too. Love pages that fold out. There's um, the plants are very cool to look at. Like I love all the original designs in this movie. It's very different. Okay, so for Harry Potter the Creature Vault, I went a little bit crazy and I marked a ton of pages. But I mean, what can I say? I love Harry Potter, so of course. Um, so, I really love this one. This is the scene from the Chamber of Secrets with the spiders. 
and I love how this is a monochrome painting and like there's still so much detail with the spider webs and it's super super creepy like I hate spiders but this is really cool um and then of course um buck beak buck beak is nicely designed I really love this image again sorry for the glare the thestrals are super creepy it's super hard to draw a horse like I said earlier but um, they, they look fun to draw once you know how to, um, draw them. And you draw them enough, you will get faster at it. But, I like how Harry's just perched up there. This is a cool, cool creepy design. And of course, the dragons. Everyone loves dragons. Like, the designs for, uh, oh, there's the animatronic, um model for the Hungarian horn tail. Lots of fun concept art for dragons. They're really hard to draw though. Nice, nicely detailed though. And the Cornish Pixies. Those little troublemakers. They were, they're, they're kind of cute in a really creepy, hideous way. And I really love, um, this page just because it shows like the progress in um and the transformation this is peter pettigrew going from scabbers to himself and dobby and the dementor pages are really cool they're really creepy and but it's really fun like they're the artwork for the dementors are really cool like, we don't know what's under their cloak, but in these concept sketches, they give them, like, um, a skeletal design underneath the cloak. Like, here, it's like a, a human, a human skeleton, and then it kind of, like, trails down into, like, a tail shape. It's really nice, like, they don't have legs, it's just, like, the upper part is all skeletal, and then this the rest of the spine and it goes down to like a tail and I love this I love this so much this is a design for the pygmy puffs oh my god this is Arnold's design but all pygmy puffs pretty much look like this either pink or purple but like he's so cute like no hair he's just like this tiny little rat thing and he's so poofy I love it I have a, a pygmy puff plushie that I got at the Harry Potter theme park I love it and then I love Fox. I love Phoenixes. They're really pretty. Next we have Lovely Ladies of Animation. I bought this book at Ape. It's called it's a convention and it stands for Alternative Press Expo. And it's run by the makers of Comic Con. And this book um is um mostly Disney artists. And, um, or all Disney artists, I think. Yep. And, um, and these, this book was signed by, we've got Claire Kane, Brittany Lee, Lisa Keen, Helen Chin, Lorelei Beauvais, and Victoria Ying. These were signed. And I actually saw Helen Chin at, um, the convention. I went up to her table and looked at her stuff, but I was too shy to say hello but uh, she's one of my favorites. This is some of her stuff. This is her concept of Little Red Riding Hood, and it's about a little fox. And I love this. Uh, I love these illustrations just because of the colors and the style's nice. I love the contrast between the characters. You've got dark, light, you, this ominous shape, and this cute little fox. He's adorable. Let's see if it focuses. There we go. And there he is again. The lighting's nice. I love the the block in of the light. Her ink work is beautiful. And Claire Keen. Um like I love how fluid and um flowy her shapes are. Her colors are nice too. She uses pastels, I think. The way she draws people is absolutely beautiful. Like, I love how noodly the arms are, but at the same time, it still shows 
anatomy structure which it looks easy but it's I'm sure it's hard to pull off I I try to do that style and it's really difficult but she does it very well and her portraits are gorgeous Brittany Lee yeah this is Brittany Lee she does paper cut out and her um her designs are very lovely like I love the colors she plays with color a lot I can't believe this is paper cut out that's amazing I I've never really attempted paper cut out and um this kind of makes me want to the colors, the shapes, the pattern, it's just lovely. Here is Chris Sanders' sketchbook. It's not very kid-friendly, but um, his work is gorgeous. He's my favorite artist. And I, I really love his character designs. Like, the shapes are so fun and rounded. He worked on, um, he's a director and creator of Lilo and Stitch, which is my all-time favorite Disney movie. And his colors are, his watercolors, nice. The watercolors in Lilo and Stitch are so vibrant, and I wish I could paint watercolor like that. His characters are very soft and rounded, and his inking is, is great. I love his mermaid drawings. Well, that's it for my art book collection video. So I hope you guys liked it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. And subscribe if you want to see more art videos. Thank you for watching. Bye.